Okay. Hi, everybody. How you doing? So I thought I'd show you what I've had when my boys helped me move around and do. Um, those of you can remember that I used this as my painting room. <laughs> so I used to love this room to kick back in and relax. So I went ahead and put everything back in there and then we painted the walls. Well, my boys did a lot. And I was able to put my angel stuff back in here. So just kind of have some painting things in here, you know, in those cupboards down below too are finished vases and stuff. Well, I got my TV so I can sit in here and, you know, relax again. Anyway, so what I'm really digging is this area. Used to be my desk where I just do all my bills and stuff. And that was it. So I went ahead and changed this into my resin area. Because, well, I want to start painting outside, you know, during the winter. But resin's not a good thing to do outside with bugs and stuff. So that's going to be my resin stuff. That's where I'm going to be working today. I'm going to do some coasters. Okay. So this should work out really nice. And, oh, I love the camera right there. It's awesome. So, okay. Get going here. Uh, hopefully I'm okay with the colors I picked today. Raz, strawberry red, uh, champagne, chameleon red, gold glow, bright gold, And I'm going to be using the, oh yeah, I was going to put some of these little crystal rocks, tumbled crystal rocks in there, in the middle. I'm going to add just a little bit of the white mica flakes in it. And then maybe just a little tiny few pieces of that gold flaking, you know just a little bit in the middle. I'm using the uh, resin, the epoxy resin, the premium quality uh, casting resin from the epoxy resin store. And I do have a coupon code always in my description for that when I use resin. And I think that covers it. So I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so I hope we're focused. But we're just gonna take some of these rocks, put it in that little bit of, that's even too much actually. Should actually put the, yeah, plenty. Huh. So, and then I'm going to add just a little bit of the white mica flakes. Ooh. Just a little to it, you know? Let's see what happens. Oh, that's pretty in there. I like that. Then I was just thinking of a little tiny bit of this gold, just a little bit there. <laughs> Sorry, getting it out of this. I don't know why I put these in this bag. Just a little good, yeah. It'll look pretty in there. Okay, so that's done. Now, this bright gold. That's kind of perfect. Yeah, I'm digging that. Okay. 
champagne. Oh, this is the gold glow. I wonder how that's going to look. Yeah, it has a little gold glow to it. It's very pretty. That's good. All right, thank you. Just another stir. All right, let's see how this champagne looks in here. Yeah, that's good. That's sort of, that's pretty. It's perfect. It's gold. Goldish. Maybe a tad bit more. That's good. All right, let's check out this strawberry red. Jeez, I need more sticks. I'll have to use a big one. Which main color did I want to use? The strawberry red, yeah. Pretty. Ooh, that's gonna be beautiful. That's gonna be pretty. Well, let's go ahead and finish this chameleon red. Let's see what that looks like. Whatever I don't use, I end up pouring in like another coaster or something. Pretty nice. All right, so we'll get started. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna pour my clear in the middle. Ah, shaky. Okay. Gonna heat gun that a little bit. Okay. The rocks. That's not bad. Okay. This is pretty. Might spread an awful lot, but that's okay. You know, it's okay. Okay, so I want this champagne next to it. Oh no, this was the. Uh, Chameleon. So here we go. Let me take these sticks out. This is so fun. So pretty.
I may have to fast forward through some of this because this could be a long video. You can see over there. Oh. Okay. That's pretty. Is this light blinding things? Or is it helping? I don't know. Okay. Then, uh, <clears throat> now we'll go to gold. Bright gold. Okay, now the champagne. I always gotta take it easy in the beginning because I run out. I've had that happen before. And I'm running low. That's beautiful stuff. I'm afraid to put that red strawberry in though. That's beautiful. Okay, that's the only one I haven't done yet. Now here comes the red. Let's see what that's gonna look like. That's pretty together. Sorry, I've had long videos lately. Uh, you know. That's gorgeous. Let's go to bright gold. That's our rocks. We're done with this one. This, we don't have a whole bunch left. So, I suppose I could put just a small amount in there. I hope I have enough. I'll go real thin. You know, that was kind of silly. So is that glow gold? I'm going to go this one stuff, whatever it was. What was it called? Million red. Oh man, I forgot I need to use some for the other. Oh. All right, and then our gold.
Okay. And then the strawberry. That's it. It's not full. A whole bunch. All right, there we go. Okay, done. Now I'm just going to check for kitty hairs and pour the rest. Well, do I have much left? Yeah, a little bit there. In something. And that's it. It's going to change a little bit, so we'll come back in about 15 minutes to take a look at them. Okay, so there they are. They're kind of just sitting real nice and still. And what's really cool is this table's nice and level too. I love it. Um, I poured the rest of that rocky, the rock stuff in there and then just clear on the top to make with my leftover. Cause that's all I had left over was something in here and which worked out really good. I think this is beautiful, that gold in there. Let me lift it up to the camera just a little. So I'm going to put in my drying rack, which is nice and level, and stay tuned for the unmolding. I cannot wait. If the bottoms don't show up pretty, the top's pretty enough as it is. They look like real pretty geodes. Stay tuned, guys. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing. Okay, so there they are. They're kind of just sitting real nice and still. And what's really cool is this table's nice and level too. I love it. Um, I poured the rest of that rocky, the rock stuff in there and then just clear on the top to make with my leftover. Cause that's all I had left over was something in here and which worked out really good. I think this is beautiful, that gold in there. Let me lift it up to the camera just a little. Nope, can't do that because I got this cup. Put that down there. Pretty. So. I'm going to put in my drying rack, which is nice and level, and stay tuned for the unmolding. I cannot wait. If the bottoms don't show up pretty, the top's pretty enough as it is. They look like real pretty geodes. All right. They should settle some more, though. They'll definitely level out more. Stay tuned, guys. Hey, here we are. <laughs> I am so loving these. Oh my gosh, I swear, even if the bottom does not look pretty, <laughs> I'm so happy with it. They're just so beautiful, that strawberry red. And oh my gosh, if you can only see it in person, how it does glow. It just like glows like crazy. So pretty. <laughs> I can't wait. So they're just a tad bit soft. I am so impatient. Uh, let's open this one to see what my leftovers were. Okay. So these are always hard. Hey, that's neat. 
That's really cool. Definitely a lot of bubbles in there, but that was because it was so thick. I couldn't, can't fit the heat gun in there. Uh, usually with these kind, you want to use like the liquid diamonds for uh, thicker stuff, you know, because there's less bubbles. But that is super pretty. So here we go. I am loving the center. <laughs> here we go. This is pretty. That is pretty neat. How cool is that? That looks like a real geode. You know what? I don't know which way I would like them. <laughs> I guess this is real pretty. <laughs> I can't make up my mind. Oh, this one's a little less colored. I like this one. A little different. Not as much as the strawberry red got in there. Still really pretty. That's neat. I really dig this set. So that's pretty. Gosh, those are neat. Oh, that's pretty too. That gold in there. It kind of shifts. That's what that does. That chameleon seems to. Yeah, shifts colors. That's pretty too, though. <laughs> well, still can't make up my mind. It's funny how this one is really more defined with uh, character in there, you know? That's funny. So, yeah, I suppose it would be this way because they're the colors, same colors. Hmm. Oh, that one's pretty. Oh, my goodness. That's something. I'll tell you what. I don't know if you're seeing it in the camera. But the shimmer in these... And, oh my gosh, I swear they're beautiful. They look real, like real geodes. So I forgot I wanted to finish them before uh, we go all the way. And so I ran out of this though, this is the metallic gold, you know, gilding on the side, but I was able to get the rim on this one. I mean, there's a little bit left in there, but not enough for me to continue. So I'm just gonna have to, and I was able to get this here. Anyway, yeah, I like this side, I suppose. Cause like I said, they have, they're not all the same. You know, they're different. You know, this is beautiful, you know? And this is just that strawberry and all this beautiful earth tone colors come through and the glow comes through from this side too. So that's the way I'm gonna put them, put the feet on the bottom. Anyway, thank you for watching everybody. I hope you have a good week. Have a good one. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.